Hey, what's up YouTube? This is Kyle, PixelHangover.com, showing you guys the Final Fantasy XIV uh, section that I'm at now. Uh, I'm currently trying to get the airships going. Uh, I finally figured out how to uh, get them and where they are, and I thought I'd share the knowledge with you guys. Um, one of the quests that you have to do in order to uh, gain access to this, I believe it's kind of similar for all of the uh, regions, uh, classes and all that. Um, it's uh, It was really tricky for me. I had problems figuring out, you know, from what I understand, there's a spoiler alert, maybe, for all you nerds. Um, basically, there's a dragon and a masked uh, magician that you have to fight. And they more or less were blowing my brains. Because I, I kept silence, or not silence, but sleeping the dragon slash demon. And I would fight the uh, magician. And obviously, I'm supposed to fight the magician, or I'm sorry, fight, fight the dragon, and, and not worry about the magician at all, because a good old NPC came along later and uh, hooked me up with a little tanking action. Uh, so of course right here I'm in Ulda, uh, this is the airship, airship section, um, of course I'm delivering this note uh, to say, hey friends, let's all gather and celebrate how awesome we are, or something along those lines. Uh, here of course, like I said, I'm in Ulda, this is the uh, airship there. You can of course see on the map where I'm at. I'm trying to let you guys see where exactly it is, how to get there, and some of the most you know prominent areas you could see it. Uh, this little section here is just a little celebration, I guess, of how great I am. You know what I like the best about this? I know that these uh, things are supposed to be special, you know, to be able to ride them, but I feel like you know, if you're going to put an airship in the air, you can at least put more than just me and, and the airshipman guy, pilot, captain. I don't know. Seems like something that'd be better than two of us riding together. Because then once you get to the other side, you start hearing rumors. And now, you know, you can't have that. You need at least a third person there to say, nah, that didn't happen. He didn't try to wink at me. See? Now that, now that no one's going to know for sure. There, of course, is my uh, group of friends that I uh, met along the way while well, I was in Ulda, and they're wishing me farewell. This is probably the longest cutscene of all of them. Uh, this, of course, is the uh, Sultanessa Tanpisa Clampedia. Yeah, she's, uh, she's the head of Ulda, and that fellow holding her, I guess, was uh, one of her generals, top generals. I chick there in the very front is uh, one of the ones that you start when you come into the city itself. She's the one that you do all your quests through, more, more or less, and she kind of gets you going, showing, what's, showing you what's up and how to do things. So I'm off to Lima, Limanicia. Tia. I love the names of final that they put in here. I just <laughs> it was like you know one of the things that you may catch in here sometime that I record and show you guys is the fact that they replace please with pray so it wouldn't say can you please go over there it would say can you pray go over there and I thought maybe it was just a typo maybe just a, you know Japanese to English translation problem I don't think so I think that's how they intended it just wanted to be off the wall funny I guess I don't know and of course they <laughs> they do gods damn it instead of god damn it or uh, gods instead of god they uh, like to throw their S's in there at the end. And of course this is where you come right after you get off the ship. Um, yeah. That's my big beautiful big bad monster. And I've noticed once you've delivered these letters, um, from what I can see, um, you only pay 200 gil, that's how I call it, uh, their currency, 200 currency uh, to them to travel anywhere. Um, of course, I set my um, points, teleport points, destinations, um, each, th each one of them in all the main cities, all three of the main cities, and it takes a lot more money to actually, you know, go along and um, teleport to them instead of taking an airship to one or the other. So the only time it would really make sense to make use of the teleport if you're in another city is if you're like way out in Timbuktu and you, you know you're really far away from town the main town itself um, but even then it might be more um, 
it would make more sense probably to jump to that main city that you're closest to and then take the ship. Uh, it would probably be less because anywhere it's, it's something like, I don't know, three to 500 uh, gil to get to another city to teleport and that does not make sense when you can just get there with 200. So, uh, of course, here you're at 11x, uh, 11y. 11 11 I did travel up and down because there's two different spots you can go to in most of the cities. Um, and I think they're ex exactly the same spots. And it's at 11, 11 here. And Lima Luminisa. Uh, this course is me leaving. We are going to go to an easier city to pronounce. Uh, referred to as Gridania. This one here is um, pretty much jungle type uh, of an area. It's actually I love I love the fact that whenever they do cutscenes or pretty much anything um, that involves your character, it shows you at that time exactly um, where you're at. It shows you the time, be it raining, be it cloudy, be it morning, be it night. Um, it pulls everything, you know, because a couple times I had to actually go through and do different quests because um, I died or something and it's like the cutscenes from it are exactly as if your character uh, is there at that time so they take into account you know the games matching up with it um, Gridania itself it's probably the easiest city to get to uh, the airships because it doesn't require you to go down any lifts or up any lifts or try to figure it out it's literally right at the start um, when you come into the city, the uh, main main girl that you actually talked to for your main quest in Gridania um, is over up top. I'll walk up here and show you. But this is the actual area that you essentially come to all the time. You just don't realize it. Um, if I went around it there, if I went back, you'd have seen right up. If I wouldn't come out those doors, if I'd have kept going around, that's where the chick is that you do all of your main starting quests with. So it's like right there. You can't miss it. Um, zoom out a little bit for you and show you exactly kind of give a little perspective of where it's at but it doesn't require any lifts or anything like that and uh, after I turned in all of my stuff for the letters and requesting their presence for this gathering that we're going to be having um, I get a little uh, ship a little uh, miniature ship and I thought I'd show that to you guys I of course already had the uh, one the cat uh, that I got from my Amazon pre-order. I'm going to be doing a video also showing off all of the things that I got for the Amazon pre-order. You know, pretty cool stuff actually. I'm glad I did do the uh, pre-order that I done. This course is showing you your minions, like how you summon them, how you get rid of them, how pointless they really are, uh, unless you're just really attached to having little boogers running behind you. And then, of course, I remember I have to actually use it in order to go back over and get it out, actually. And get onto my minions down here. And there's my ship. Really cool little setup. Like, I like, kind of like that. It's, you know, obviously it looks very toy-ish, but uh, it's a lot of fun. It looks really cool. Pull this up out of the way so you guys get a little better view of it. Yeah, I thought it was really cool. Um, you know, it's no cat, but it's uh, it's ideal for what you just done. I really like that. And of course, they got the achievements and everything. And from here on, this is me leaving Redania. I want to show you that as well. Uh, this last cutscene here is kind of long. It's a little choppy. I'm not entirely sure why. I don't know if the computer is getting a little hot or what. But I uh, hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, like, subscribe, let us know what you guys want to see. We appreciate it. Thanks, guys.
has been 15 years, but the bitter taste of defeat lingers still. 15 years since the Imperial fleet set course for Mordona, led by the Egrios, mightiest of all vessels. Silver Till Lake lay ripe for the taking, and all of Eorzea would soon be ours. Or so we believed. But an innumerable host of dragons met us that day. At the heart of which flew the great meat guard Zormer. Though we succeeded in slaying that lord among worms, the Dread Serpent's defeat was bought at too high a price. Our invincible flagship was lost, and all hope of victory with her so ended our glorious conquest. Eorzea, a blighted realm, riddled with false gods. Twice now it has eluded the Empire's grasp. For all the destruction it wrought, even Meteor, the Great Sin, failed to yield us control over it. And for this failure, the realm has sunk deeper into depravity. It is twisted beyond all reckoning, rotten nigh to the core. Yet, it must be saved. Only Garlean rule can bring order to Eorzea. It falls to us to deliver the misguided masses from their ignorance. We are of one mind, Lord Van Balthar. Is Legatus really planning to take another till to Deorzea? Hey, what hole have you been hiding? We're in the midst of preparing for a new campaign, and a huge one at that. But I thought the Emperor had given up the Western lands for lost after Cartano. What could the Legatus possibly hope to gain by it? I sense you harbor certain doubts over the wisdom the Legatus is uh, My... Please, call me Neil. Tell me, where were you born? Otter, my lord. Alamigo, my lord. Ah. Codename Hummingway, I presume. I... I don't know what you... Silence. Your denials will not change your fate. I assure you, Fumentarium sees all. Soon you will be made to know the true power of magic. 